What's up you guys? It's me Oleander and today I'm going to be doing this video a little bit old school because I'm going to do a voiceover. But um, we're going to make a Molin torch, a witch's candle, a hag's taper, whatever you want to call it. You're going to need the stem and the seed head of a dried Molin. I'm using beeswax. I'm just going to melt that down completely. And the intention of this candle is a success. So I'm going to use it on my birthday. And it's going to be geared towards a successful year. So I'm just melting that down all the way. And I'm going to be adding some oleander and some California poppy. They're not enchanted. The only thing that's enchanted is, is the cinnamon. So I'm not using the flowers for magical purposes. They're just symbolic to me. Once that's completely melted, you're going to want to dip it in so many times. You can pour it on there too, but it looks prettier to me when it's dipped, so that's how I do it. So I'm just tearing that up. This one bitch was like, hey, what if someone dies doing your stuff? I'm just like, you guys know better than to mess with poisonous plants and die from it, okay? You do. And if you don't, then get out of here. I mean, no, don't. I don't want to be blamed for any of that. You know better. Don't fuck with plants. That can kill you. All right, that's just the enchanted cinnamon. We're gonna dip it. I think I dipped it a total of 10 times. It took me about two hours with all the drying in between. I just dip it in, set it down and walk away and then come back and do it again. On the very last dip, I just sprinkle everything on. Once everything's on, I dip it one more time and then just roll the rest of it on just to try to get as much of it as I can. And that's pretty much it. After that, you're just going to let it dry completely. make sure before you light it you scrape off the wax on the tip of it because that's what you're going to light. Goodbye for now.